Good YouTube, John Moore back here today with the Base Lolly. Hey, what it is, what it is, it's your boy. We have his deck profile, we're going to nail out these cards for you, and then he's going to explain some things that he wanted to tell everybody. So, we have three Raidens, three Wolves, three Perform Age Damage Jugglers, three Perform Age Hat Trickers, two Trick Clowns, two Ghost Ogres, two Lilas, his favorite card, two Luminas, <laughs> two Felice, three Goblinbergs, <laughs> three Instant Fusion. Brigade, one Reinforcement of the Army, one Foolish Burial, one Soul Charge, three Anti-Spell Fragrance, and one Vanity's Emptiness. In the side deck we have two Honest, three Mystical Space Typhoon, two Dark Hole, two Breakthrough Scales, one Regeki, three Imperial Iron Walls, two Typhoons, and then in the extra we get to two Cyframe Lord Omegas, two Nordens, one Scarlight, one uh, Stardust Spark Dragon, one Michael, one Black Rose Dragon, and then we have our X Seeds with Abyss Dweller, Minerva, Castell, Digusto Emerald, Perform Age Trapeze Magician, Karen Gorgon, and Diamond Dire Wolf. So, let's get into it. What did you want to tell everybody, Lolly? Uh, I want to tell everybody that uh, Minerva is awesome, and <laughs> this deck is fucking fantastic. Um, and that if you can afford a Minerva, don't buy one because it's fun, but it's not that fun. Uh, you can definitely spend your money better elsewhere. Um, I'm not going to name names, but if you're on welfare, it's definitely not right to have <laughs> uh, So, uh, real quick, I just wanted to explain that before the event, uh, like before the actual event, my list was very, very, very different. And I took a lot of ideas from the United Ghosts uh, deck that they posted uh, with the Thousand Blades and the Gold Bulb. I thought those cards were really, really good additions to the deck. And he only played one Felice, too. So I thought that was really good. But I ended up changing it to add more Goblin to Berg. I took out Photon Thrashers. And I noticed that you don't have enough extra deck space to optimally play Gold Bulb because then you'll have to cut Double Omega, which is a win condition. You'll have to cut one of them. And then you'll have to cut, uh, if you want to play Lumina still, you'll have to cut Black Rose, which is just too important to play because you're playing Soul Charge and uh, Instant Fusion. Uh, another thing is that, uh, I mean, I, I like totally uh, brain farted. Uh, oh, so I decided to play Ghost Ogre this time over Maxi because this was just, well, that, and this is just a better hand trap right now. You can actually just catch people randomly. I said this in Samantha's profile. But a lot of people will, if they don't open Pendulum Call, will, let's say they open Skullcrow Bad Joker and the Seven Star, the Dragon Pit, then they'll go Summon Crobat and get a Wisdom Eye rather than just an Oak Dragon. And they'll play the Wisdom Eye, play the other guy, and activate the Wisdom Eye because it's not a cost to catch them with Ghost Ogre. And that's just because of conventional play. So they'll think they're making the right play when really they're just playing into my hand. <laughs> so that's just a better hand trap, for sure. Uh, I cut a Felice though still, even though I didn't play one Felice, because Felice is both like really good and really bad. You can't mill it off of recharge or uh, charge, but you can still, because I'm playing three Goblin to Berg, you can still enable it to make Omega, because if you open Goblin Berg, Felice, Instant Fusion, even if you don't, uh, even if you don't have a way to mill, you can still make two Omegas, which is still like a solid, solid win condition, because you're making them play like two less cards, obviously. So, um, I think that was... I think that was everything. I, I guess, like, let me go through the side. Yeah. Uh, oh, you wanted me to explain anti spell? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanted to explain some plays with anti spell? Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> um, basically, I made it this time, and, and that's kind of self explanatory in itself, but, but uh, the, the reasoning behind it, like, not only does it make your opponent not play because. Before I played it, uh, Bowden fucking kind of uh, he told me that I was overvaluing the card, which isn't actually true because uh, a card is good in a deck where it makes your bad hands better and your good hands better. Like it just makes every hand better. And generally, anti spell does that, especially against pendulum decks, because you just break. Uh, you go in second, you break the, one of their skills, then you just break both, and then you you pass, and then you flip it, and then you can't play. Uh, if you're going first, you have so many like options to protect it via Spark Dragon and Karen Gorgon as a side breakthrough skill to stop when they like summon a guy in special Jiggy Fight or Hat Trigger. Uh, and then you have Ghost Ogre 2 randomly because, um, uh, you know, what's that stop? I mean, 
Yeah, yeah, I guess he's going to make... It, in, in testing, I'm making a trade just and they try and, like, make a Feral Imps and then a Ghost Ogre that, and they'd sit there and be like, man, I really shouldn't make Castell. But, uh, those, uh, those three cards in specific, uh, really, this deck just has no swing back, and that's, like, the problem. You just... If you go... If they make you go first, they'll, like, miss her and kill you. And, uh, if you go second, sometimes, even if you break their, their, their scales, if you can't kill them that turn, then you won't win. So you need a way to like really just have a turn to make like prevent them from doing anything, and then you just push back the next turn. And that's why Trapeze is that in here because it gives them one less turn to play. Uh, I know it may seem obvious, but man, like read Pojo, like read <laughs> read Pojo sometime. It uh, it'll definitely open your eyes and see how like little people know. So I think that's it, right? Pretty much. Uh, thanks for joining us, Base Lolly. And uh, later tonight, I believe we'll have uh, Jackie join us also with her deck profile, right? Wait, I will? <laughs> <laughs> Do you not want to? Uh, I got time. Jeff, you a champion. You got to get into the house. Uh, All right. Hey. All gonna, right. I want to. Uh, I want to give a shout to the Brady Bunch, and I want to give a shout to the Wisconsin Goo Kitchen. And if you are gonna make a YouTube comment. Uh, I want to give a shout out to you because your opinion is important. And <laughs> if, you, if you think uh, this stream, or this channel and stream is a joke because John Moore blows his nose, <laughs> <laughs> then you know what? Fuck you. I'm going to eat Burger King too. All right. <laughs> all right. That was baseball. You can meet him at the Bofo Regionals. Bofo Regional Champion. John, eat more BK. <laughs> Peace.